He, that is God, will swallow up on this mountain, the same mountain, Mount Zion, Jerusalem. He will swallow up on this mountain that covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. God will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people will be taken away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. The joy that God gives. The joy of the feast, the joy of the food, the joy of the fellowship, the joy of laughter will never be taken away. Why? Because on the same mountain that God gives this feast for his people is the same mountain that God himself will swallow up death forever. Not temporarily, forever. All death will be gone for eternity. Death has a way of ruining our festivals, does it not, brothers and sisters? Empty seats at Christmas, empty seats at Thanksgiving tables. Birthdays we celebrate without the loved ones who we're celebrating. And it pains us because there was something that was so good and so joyous and so precious and now it's gone. And we miss our moms and dads. We miss our husbands and wives. We miss our sons. We miss our daughters. We miss our friends. We miss our buddies. Even our dreams have died. All good vacations come to an end. People always leave our joyful gatherings. We live in a world marked by separation and by death. That's why the Bible talks about death. It's the great swallower. It envelops everything. No matter what you enjoy in this life, it's got that asterisk by it that says death will come for it. It will swallow it up. But someday on Mount Zion, God says, I'm going to swallow the swallower. I'm going to envelop death itself. Uh, I got this book that Katie and I, we read to our daughters. It's called Goodbye to Goodbyes. And I just want you to read the last page for it. It says, we all have to say goodbye sometimes. Some of them are short goodbyes. Some of them long. Sometimes a friend of Jesus who we love gets sick and we're sad. Sometimes because they die, we, we have to say goodbye. And it feels like a forever goodbye. And Jesus knows it's sad to say goodbye. So Jesus came to end goodbyes. And one day, Jesus and all his friends will say goodbye to goodbyes forever. You see, after 700 years when this prophecy was given, God swallowed up death on Mount Zion. Jesus Christ died in Jerusalem on a cross, and he proclaimed, it is finished. Death is defeated so that eternal life and joy could be secured for humanity. And Jesus declares, I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore. I have the keys of death and Hades. I have authority over them. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? The joyous feast of the Lord will never wane. It will never falter because Jesus Christ came to give life and life more abundantly, life everlasting. Brothers and sisters, how long is it going to last? The answer is it's going to last forever. 